Do you want to master cinematography in Blender? Today, I'll show you mind-blowing shots from Blockbuster Films and how you can implement these into your Blender animations. At the end of this video, I'll use the skills we've learned to create a cinematic shot of my own and see if it blends seamlessly with the opening scene of Bike Club. The basics. You're going to go through 18 different shots that you can add to your projects today. The static shot. This shot can be used to show suspense with the absence of movement, or to enhance the focal point in the scene with no distractions. Inside Blender, click on your camera either in the outline or the viewport. Press N to bring out your transform panel, and then press backspace while hovering over the location and rotation. Now change your X to 90, raise the camera a bit, and you're done. Yes, I know this isn't new information to you, but over the course of this video, each shot is going to get progressively harder. We can get through these simple ones quickly though. The panning shot. When the camera stays mostly stationary, but tilts horizontally. Press I to insert a keyframe, and then click rotation. Then scroll through your timeline, press R, and then Z. Move your camera to where you want it, insert another keyframe, and there you go. Whip pan. This one's fun. Famously used in La La Land. The way you are going to achieve this might be something you've never seen in Blender before. This blew my mind when I found this out. In Blender, there's a built-in add-on for extra camera rigs. After enabling this, you can add a dolly camera and control where you want the camera to look with this tracking point. Keyframe here, keyframe there, and add another one in the middle to create an arc. And boom! Push in and pull out method. Simply keyframing the camera back and forth to make the audience feel more connected to the subject or to show a sense of loneliness. Truck shot. I love how they use this shot in the movie War Dogs when David is running through the town. Two ways to go about this. Keyframe point A, move the camera and keyframe point B. There's a couple of issues with doing it this way though. If your subject is moving in a linear path, meaning it's at the same speed throughout, then you might see this when you're looking through your camera. This is because our camera's movement is set to Bezier, which is done to smooth out the harsh stop of the camera. To change this, right click at the top of your timeline and click vertical split. Then change this to the graph editor. Now press T and click linear. This stumped me the first time I used the graph editor. To navigate around, hold down control and then use the middle mouse button. Takes some getting used to. Your camera is now moving at one speed throughout the animation. Two, what if our subject is moving unpredictably? This method is so much easier. Click on your camera, then hold shift and click on your subject. Then press control P and parent object. This will lock the camera's position to wherever it is and maintain that distance. Pedestal shot. At first, I didn't know what this meant, but it's just the camera going up and down. Same as the truck shot, but up and down. Tilting shot. Simply tilting the camera up and down to reveal the scale of something usually. Keyframe point A, rotate your camera up and add another keyframe. Try and keep this one slow to add suspense, and not to take the viewer away from what's really important in the shot. Zoom. The way the director used the zoom shot in the movie Get Out just ran a chill through my spine. You can do something just like this, slowly zooming in to build suspense. Or make it a practical zoom like it was shot from an iPhone, like this shot. Hey, that dude's <laughs> Either way, you can do this by pressing I while hovering over your focal length, then increasing it and making another keyframe. Dolly zoom. Now that you know how to push in and zoom, you can create the dolly zoom. This one can add a lot of emotion to a shot, or just make it look silly. Excuse me. The gist of the dolly zoom is the act of moving the camera forward while zooming out, or moving the camera backward while zooming in. POV shot. This one can be the most fun for blender animations, especially horror ones. There's a couple of ways you can achieve this. A super cool way to get realistic movement in Blender is by going into your camera, making sure it's selected, then go to View, Navigation, and then Walk Navigation. Or you can press Shift tilde. Now this is the cool part. If you have a floor in your scene, you can press G to enable gravity, and now you can walk around just like it's a video game. You might be asking yourself, how do I animate this? All you have to do is turn on automatic keyframing, press play, then walk slash fly around, do whatever, and your camera movement is being keyframed in real time. Just make sure the length of your scene is long enough. Handheld. Same as POV, just keep in mind someone is holding the camera instead of their eyes being the camera. So you can experiment around with the height of your camera. Tracking shot. This shot is used in almost every single movie I can think of. It's a complex shot and usually goes unnoticed. As the name suggests, we are going to track our subject in the scene as it moves. Select our camera, then go to Object Constraints and add a Track To Constraint. Now we can animate our camera location wherever we want, but it will always look at our subject. Steadicam slash gimbal shot. This is just like the handheld shot, but we're going to smooth out our animation. Use walk navigation in your camera view, then after animating your motion, we're going to open up our graph editor and select all the keyframes by pressing A. Now listen closely to this part. This will change how you animate forever. Make sure you have a keyframe at the very start and end of your animation, even if there's no movement. Then press Alt Shift O. This will add a keyframe in every frame, 
Now we're going to smooth these out by pressing Alt-O, and you can just hold it down. See how many times we can do this? You don't want to go overboard though, because eventually your animation will turn into just a straight line. Oh, and if you want to tweak the keyframes even more, then go to Key Density and Decimate Ratio. Now, the more you slide the mouse to the right, the fewer keyframes you have. Now you can edit these individually. The arc shot. I always found the shot so cool. Famously used in Matrix when Neo was dodging bullets. To create this in Blender, we're going to add a curve and make our camera move along it. Add a path and make this spiral motion. Now add a follow path constraint and choose your path. Make sure your camera starts at the beginning of the curve. Now you can animate the offset to move our camera. Just add a track constraint after to make sure your camera is always looking at your subject. Crane slash jib shot. This one breaks all rules of normal home filming and can usually only be done by huge movie productions with insane budgets. But you're going to recreate it in Blender. Add in a crane camera rig instead of a dolly one like before. Make sure you have the extra camera rig add-on enabled. And now you can animate our camera just like it's on a huge moving crane. Crazy stuff. Here's a little animation I created with this technique. By the way, if you want to see how I made this whole scene, I have a video about it going over my workflow and how you can create something just like this today. This is the last shot type of the video. This one can make almost any Blender footage look that much more realistic. And don't forget, after this one, I'll show you how I recreated a shot from the opening scene of Fight Club, Camera Shake. This is if you already have an animated camera and you want to add some extra camera shake to intensify the mood of your scene or to add some realism. Go into the graph editor of your camera and on the left hand side you can see the camera's transforms. We're going to select each rotation at a time. Select the X rotation and then with the panel on the right go to modifiers. Now add a noise modifier. This is a little much right now so increase the scale a bit and then bring down the strength. I find 0.03 tends to be good but play around with it. Now just do this for the Y and Z rotation and you got some pretty awesome camera shake. Now for what you've all been waiting for. I'm going to recreate this scene from Fight Club. We have front row seats for this theater of mass destruction. The demolitions committee of Project Mayhem wrapped the foundation columns of a dozen buildings with blasting gelatin. In two minutes, primary charges will blow base charges and a few square blocks will be reduced to smoldering rubble. Here's the final result. We have front row seats for this theater of mass destruction. The demolitions committee of Project Mayhem wrapped the foundation columns of a dozen buildings with blasting gelatin. Two minutes, primary charges, base charges, and a few square blocks will be reduced to smoldering rubble. If you guys like this video, make sure to check out this video right here to see how I make this epic villain chase in Blender.